G'day and welcome to the Daily Results Update Show and Anastasia Rodionova will make her Fed Cup debut for Australia against the Ukraine in April. Rodionova will be joined in the team by Samantha Stoza, Alicia Mollick and Renee Stubbs. Fed Cup captain David Taylor feels confident he's got the team that can get the job done. It's a hard, a hard assignment, um, but uh, you know I really think our girls are up to it. it it's the most important tie in, in recent memory for us, and um, to be back amongst the elite nations of women's tennis in the world would would be a good reward for for the girls' commitment to the Fed Cup. Bernard Tomic has gone down in the first round of a clay court challenger event in Napoli, Italy. It was Tomic's first match back since making his Davis Cup debut for Australia and he fell to Italian second seed Paolo Lorenzi. In France, Ramiz Junaid made it to the main draw as a lucky loser but was beaten by Czech Jan Miner. On the ITF circuit, Yamila Groth has defeated fellow countrywoman Olivia Rogalska in Monzon in Spain. Groth beat Rogalska after the teenager was forced to retire in the second set. Top seed John Millman had an easy first round victory at the Futures event in Mobile, Alabama. Millman moved past Joshua Milton in straight sets, while Colin Ebelthite also had a first round win in Turkey. Coming up, it's the big one. Samantha Stoza taking on Kim Kleisters in the quarterfinals of the Sony Ericsson event in Miami. The pair have met twice before, with Kleisters coming out on top both times. Let's hope it's third time lucky for Sam. Three Aussie women will be in action this week on the ITF circuit in the USA. Sophie Ferguson, Monique Adamzak and Shannon Golds all have first round matches coming up, while Yamila Groth has a tough second round match against world number 84 Clara Zakopalova in Spain. On the men's side, Sam Groth faces Jan Hernick in France, while Bryden Klein and Caden Hensel play qualifiers in the first round at a Futures event in the States. That's it for today. Join us here tomorrow for all your latest daily results.